Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome back uh, to Celebrating Act Two. How you doing, John? Hey, Art. Good to see you again. Uh, I'm doing well. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to the 4th of July holiday. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, it'll be something different. It, it's one of the few holidays that's different. There won't be a parade this year, but I'm assuming there'll be fireworks somewhere. And, of course, you can't go to see the fireworks because TV, like, that would put everybody together. Like there's one. It, but I, I think... don't go to the – I don't – I don't go to the fireworks anyway. Right. It's too crowded. I, why Why would I want the hassle? Uh, forget COVID-19. I just don't need the hassle of being even on a nice lawn and having music playing to see fireworks. I can stand on my daughter's balcony and look out and see the fireworks for two or three cities at the same time. Right. That's good enough for me. So unfortunately, it's not it, – it may be the only holiday that's a little bit different. You know, everything else is the same. Well, I was thinking that I was going to make it different. Um, uh, Fourth of July is like this year is, I think, on Friday. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Friday is a federal holiday. And you, I, you can see how much the holidays mean to me that I don't even know. <laughs> don't know. Well, we, well yeah, it's, it's either Friday or Monday. That's right. federal holidays. Yeah. I always thought it was like on the Monday following, unless it was on a Wednesday preceding uh, when there was a cat in the driveway or something like that. But yeah, that's uh, I decided that I was going to make it a four day weekend uh, oh, and add Monday Monday to that. But I'm thinking uh, we've been wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. You are going to make the 4th of July a four day weekend. Right. What? All right. How old are you? Every day, every weekend is a four day weekend for you. No, not true. Not true. <laughs> but what I did think about was that you and I work from home, and yep. we've actually interviewed over the last three months about a hundred episodes sure. of various things. Sure, we've been busy. Uh, yeah, and producing uh, for celebrating Act Two. Yeah, but, but in some ways, uh, on by Monday, July sixth, I think it is, or whatever it turns out to be, uh, yeah. that that turns out to be about a the end of a hundred and ten day. Uh, depending upon where in the country you you live, uh, uh, stay at home. So oh, not, from the from the uh, COVID restrictions. Right from the COVID restrictions. So uh, I'm thinking so, that this is my first hundred. I'm going to call. I'm going to round it for rounding errors, depending upon sure. whether round it up. You're yeah, in New I'm York or California. That uh, this is a, my first hundred day holiday. <laughs> so. And that's why I extended it to Monday to make sure that it wasn't going to be like 99 or something like that. Uh, a 100-day holiday. I like that. Yeah. Right. So at some point when when you pass 50, you're going to get to the point where you're really not working full time anymore, whether you've retired or whatever you want to call it. Um, you're, you're, your life changes. You're partly retired or you're partly working or whatever you're doing or you're volunteering your time. And life, your schedule changes. You don't have the same, um, what do you call it, regular routine. Uh, routines. Yeah, your routine changes. So at that point, <laughs> you're on a permanent, permanent hundred day holiday. Well, I don't know where you get. I know. I you know. didn't need COVID nineteen to to create your hundred day holiday. I don't, uh, you know, again, we we're both working this business full time, uh, but I mean full time. And wrapping it around other things we do. I know that you you uh, spend a lot of your time with uh, uh, your agricultural pursuits. Uh, we do. In, in we your, do. In your arbor, yeah. and you've got chickens, and you've got uh, horses, and other things that are. I mean, literally, you walk out your front door, and they're no more than fifty feet away. And, and step in it. Right. Yeah. But, <laughs> well, that's because you like that. Uh, <laughs> but I, uh, my routine, even though I spend a, a lot of time on my property is that I have um, uh, seven opportunities for Zoom based uh, Taiji a week, uh, which right. replaces I used to go to the gym five days a week and now and, and Taiji about two days a week. Now I'm doing 
Tai Chi about uh, enrolled in seven classes, I get to at least five of them. Uh, wow, that's good. Yeah, and some of them are, uh, most of them are two hours, and I stay for at least an hour for the warm ups, and then, uh, uh, then for the actual. And practice. this is all, this is all online. All online. So. <laughs> right, Tai Chi. Well, the music is not that good, but. Oh, okay. <laughs> In fact, uh, when we're finished with this, I'd like to do another session where I tape you, because that's very, very, <laughs> it, 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 it reinforces how unsoothing that noise was. <laughs> yeah, sorry. And uh, the sorry. No, but tai, I, I understand yeah. Tai Chi is a combination of what mental and physical exercise and stretching yeah. and a whole bunch of different disciplines but, but kind of put my, together. That's my routine. Uh, and yeah, I know that uh, you have uh, uh, you visit a physical therapist uh, on, on a fairly regular basis, uh, right? Uh, so that's part of your routine. And when when uh, even uh, some of our taping sessions interrupt that, it's like well, I got to rearrange all that stuff. So it's not like that things are they are devoid of things to do, whether you're semi working or fully working. Uh, because a lot of us are working at home. So I think that this is the end of my first 100-day holiday. Okay. okay. That I, I'll buy it. Okay, good. So what, what are you doing? <laughs> what, what are you doing uh, for your uh, 100, to, to complete your first 100-day holiday? <laughs> to complete my first 100-day holiday, um, not much. Not much different. <laughs> That's my premise. Your premise is you get a 100-day holiday. My premise is that the holidays aren't any different than any other day. Right. It's, uh, in fact, weekends aren't any different. We we had um, I forget who I was talking to. Somebody who said, "What are you doing for the weekend?" And I thought <laughs> about it. What what weekend? When's the? I don't even know what day it is anymore. Yeah, you can like, get it, these custom cal uh, calendars that go from Wednesday to Tuesday. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so if it, if it, you know you the old joke, if it weren't for my pill caddy that tells me take these pills on Monday and these pills on Tuesday, I wouldn't know what day of the week it is. Right. So, I mean, so, growing, growing up out of all this nonsense that we're doing now is that we have renamed every day of the week day because it doesn't really... <laughs> it's day, the day, day before day, two days earlier, uh, two days from now. I'm, this, I'm sure there was a comedian who did that routine. I don't... Right. I can't recall it. One of my favorites is getting um, a 30 days to the gallon. Um, <laughs> but... Now that I'm sh going out shopping, I've actually had to put in a half a tank of gas in the last yeah. month. So I know I do my I know. I, but I do my 7 a.m. shopping. Like this morning, I told you, uh, I did 7 a.m. shopping, and I got a whole bunch of stuff only because I had to go to the post office and send a certified return receipt document at oh. 8 a.m. And then when I was finished with that, I went to another store. That had my favorite uh, uh, sugar-free tropical ices, uh, and I knew that they would have them because uh, uh, they always have tons of that stuff there on a Monday. So aren't you the social guy? I, I mean, three I, stores in one day. This is unbelievable. But the for second you. store I went to, okay, now started charging for. They didn't let you bring in your own bag so you could put stuff in. Which in California has oh. been that way for a year until yeah. you know, the, the lockdown. Uh, no. Okay, but Stupid so they were giving stuff. you free bags. I went in this time and I said, uh, I was just checking, even though I knew that they were free. Are they free? No, they're now a nickel apiece or whatever it was. But she let me go with it. She says, you remember for next time. So yeah. now, so that's that's showing some some um, uh, progress. I don't know whether it's good or bad, but they're now charging for. Uh, uh, disposable bags. Again, you know, it, it it's all so silly to be real honest, and and uh, uh, piddling. It might be the piddling. right word. It's so small, yeah, wait, small it, John, piddling. Piddling. Excuse me. We had obstreperous the other day. Piddling. Obstreperous and piddling. I love piddling. it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice so going word. back, going back to a hundred days, mm -hmm. what happens in the next hundred days? If you've finished your first hundred days, July fourth or sixth or whatever it is going to be, what what is your next hundred days? Well, like? I have to Are you I, starting? Yeah, no, you're starting your next hundred day I, holiday I, I, now. I have to tell you, I may be finished with it, but I have this uh, terrific business partner. His name is John Coleman. You may know him. 
Uh, I haven't heard of him. He's from the, the Coleman's from uh, lower upstate New York, from the Bronx, <laughs> from the north, northern Bronx. And then the lower As opposed New to York. Coleman, Texas, mind and, you. And, uh, very, thank you very much. <laughs> right. Or the Coleman Stove Company. Uh, That's right. So, uh, but he and I are working on uh, a trailer to promote Celebrating Act Two because we're getting to the point now we, we have about uh, 270 segments of things that we shot both live and, and uh, maybe yeah. about 100 and, uh, 150 of uh, uh, our uh, interviews that we use over yep. Skype. Good, good library of a good library of, of experts and information for anybody over fifty. So anyway, yeah. Johnny it's and great. I, Johnny and I are working on a trailer. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny and Addy. Johnny and Addy. Okay, from the oh, we're going to have a trailer back from the old country, from the from the neighborhood. Okay, so you're, t you're, t you're telling me something I don't know. What's that got to do with 100 days? Well, I'm just saying that you said, well, what's coming up that's exciting? I said, well, we're probably going to be releasing a trailer, Johnny and me, uh, <laughs> next week, maybe, within the first yeah, 10 or maybe, 15 days. Maybe, you never know. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, but that's the that's our that's our business. Yeah. Well, that's our business. Yeah, side. but it's also what about fun. Your, your your non business side. Oh, you, non you're you're going to the store, three stores in one day. And I'm gonna, unbelievable. I'm, I'm I'm working on getting to a full six of my seven Tai Chi sessions uh, in one week. Uh, I like that. That's that's that. Tai Chi. We're balancing Tai Chi stores uh, toward Tai Chi and stores and our business. Oh. Oh, that sounds oh, yeah, like yeah. a well-rounded life. Okay, now I'm sounds like a now I'm going to give you something that you can talk to me about on about August first. Uh, okay. When I went to the store this morning, I also got a couple of things that were not sugar-free, because I decided that I put on enough extra couple of pounds that I need to to go and lose some weight during the month of July, and I have I have uh, something uh, I want to lose it by August first. So I want between you now to and save just, our... just, 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 between now and uh, July first, uh, I'm gonna have some things that I really enjoy, and then I'm going on a strict diet on July first, um, and I'm gonna lose a ton of work, a ton of weight. And what I'm doing is I'm giving you the opportunity to really say, yeah. really, okay. But then at the end of the month, if if and when. We get to the end of the month and you say, really? And I've dropped a ton of weight. And you're like, boy. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think you could do it. I, I mean, I'm not sure that I can either. But anyway, so I'm getting ready to start a diet. You're asking for the next 100 days. And Okay, that's what that's what we're going to talk about in our next vlog. Because that's classic. There's two times of the year when everybody loses weight. You can watch the commercials on television. All of a sudden, the Jenny Craig and the, all the others have weight loss uh, things oh, come out on television. And New Year. Two times a year. January, right? Which is because it's a new resolution time. You make, oh, I'm going to lose weight this year. It's a new year. And June, actually before June, they came out, started coming out in May to get into your bathing suit. Those are the two weight loss times a year. And you're falling right into that pattern. I love it. And I will join you. But we'll right. we'll talk about that challenge on our next vlog, okay? Okay, yeah. That's... Because because that is a classic. And by the way, we should check in with Dr. Liz before we do that. Uh, we should do that. Actually, yeah. But what we should check in. We should check in with the uh, uh, the exercise that pushes us away from the refrigerator. Probably, <laughs> probably first. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do for the next uh, uh, hundred days? What do you got I'm going to watch you lose weight. Okay, then I'll well, watch. It, uh, well it, for the next 100 days, it goes back to my same premise, which is, what's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> what's the difference between the last 100 days? And, Listen, yeah. I'm semi, I'm semi-retired. I'm having fun. I'm doing. A, we're running a business. Yep. Um, I'm not under the same routine and pressures of a nine-to-five job nor, or a, nor you know. I report to the boss or any of those we're entrepreneurs and we're we're creating a business that's uh, going to make us money hopefully a fair amount of money someday yep. but that and making sure that i've got plenty of time for grandkids plenty of time for my 25 tree grove thank you very much which we just fertilized yesterday 
Um, and uh, a big, huge garden. We're getting, by the way, if you want zucchini, I got too much zucchini. Remind me not to plant so much zucchini next year, okay? And we're still waiting for the corn. Ah. Cross your fingers, we're going to get corn. Well, if you're, we, uh, for folks who don't know, we live about 50 miles apart, and uh, we used to meet once a week, uh, once every two weeks at a, a midpoint restaurant. Uh, one day what we ought to do is maybe uh, two weeks out, is we ought to meet and t have a, like a little tailgate in an abandoned parking lot someplace. And then we can both sit about Wait. 15 feet apart. Oh, yes. and, and then you can take some zucchini and you can put it in a bag in the middle and walk away. And then I can go pick it up, you know, as if I was oh, okay. shopping. So we, we could do something hey, like that. You're still stuck in this COVID world. And I'm, yeah. I'm past that. Oh, you are. Yeah, I'm still st you're still stuck in it. I'm past it. The restaurants are open. They're not 100% open, but they're open. We can go back to some of our usual haunts and meet there for lunch. Wear a mask. All right, listen. Socially that's distance, the next 100 days. And watch us lose weight over the next month. Now I've set us up, I've set us up for people to say, come on, guys. You're really going to yeah. do that? Yeah, 100 days. Okay, now that, I, now that I've really put a lot of pressure on us for the next 100 days... What do you have to say for yourself? I have to say it's time to go. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pretty much. And by the way, I refuse to accept that pressure. I'm going to yeah. do it if I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do it if I'm not going to do it. You forget I'm semi-retired. Oh. I don't have to take. I don't have to take any pressures well, on. Let me let me it. let me let me have you practice one line though. OK. OK. All right. Adi, this is another fine mess you've gotten us into. Mm. <laughs> See if you can do that. Sounds like Manny Pacheco. <laughs> Adi, you've got another fine mess. You've this. Jeez, you think I could do Laurel More and Hardy a little better than that, don't you? <laughs> All right, Adi, this is uh, now that was Stan Laurel that did yeah, this. Another right? fine mess you've got so us into. What did Hardy do? Hardy did. Hmm. Mm, mm, this is another fine mess you've gotten us into. Hmm. So that's a good way to say goodbye. What do you think? Uh, yeah, huh? we're probably we're probably about two minutes. We're we're probably two minutes and one commitment beyond where we should have said goodbye. Say goodbye, Artie. Goodbye, Artie. For more on celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.